Good, oh, where is my voice? I haven't spoken really properly today yet, but good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Friday and it is the Friday before we break up for Christmas, two weeks off, whoop whoop, exciting times. I was up until half one in the morning because I was doing house stuff and getting the house ready. Today I'm up, it is raining, it is miserable, but we are heading to Birmingham today. I'm going to see Nikki Lazoo to get my hair done. It's the start of the Christmas beauty prep. So I'm gonna get my hair done, and then I'm also getting my eyebrows and having a facial and doing all of the good stuff to get myself prepped for the party season. Few weeks, we're having like a New Year's Eve thingy here. I'm gonna get my brows done. I'm gonna have a massage, I think. I think I'm having a facial. I'm doing lots of stuff just to get myself all rejuvenated after a very hard December, but it's been a good December. Today I'm wearing a Balmain dress, but I'm wearing it like a jumper dress, so I'm gonna pop my boots on with it. And then I've got my bulgari bag on with it, my new one, my glittery, beautiful, gorgeous one. And I'm gonna wear my Chloe boots with it. And I'm gonna put a big warm coat on because it is miserable. Ali is still in bed because he was up even later than I was, but we are good to go. So I'm gonna quickly slurp my coffee and head out. We are currently watching Cal get dressed up in his, oh, he's really made an effort this year. <laughs> bit of tinsel. I love that he wraps the tinsel like a face halo. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he has a Hamley's carrier bag as well. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love that you have a Hamley's carrier bag. It's really old. Yeah. <laughs> From I my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the tinsel situation is wonderful. And the light up it was, jumper. It was a rush because it's, it's quite wet outside. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, make two. Yeah. <laughs> we are almost at Nikki's house now. It feels weird arriving here not being a shadow of my former self, do you remember? We've, oh, we've done the sleep out, that was horrific, absolutely horrific. We must have been such bad company. I know, I know, I was trying to be like, really like, yay, but I was dying, I was so tired. At and least we took biscuits and flowers. We did take biscuits and flowers though. We are in the hot seat, both with our foils in, and our foil sideburns that we love so much. <laughs> we are out of Nikki's now. We are currently racing home. I wasn't even able to get my hair waved because we were on such a tight time frame because I'm heading down to London to meet Leonie and Alex with Ali. So I've had my hair done straight, but can you see the blonde? The blonde. It is so dark, look at this weather. I just, it is miserable. This is not the Christmas I was hoping for, weather-wise anyway. Yeah, I'm heading home, I'm gonna whack some waves in it, see if the waves last this weather, whether they can withstand it or not. Retouch up my makeup and head down for a Christmas drinky booze. We are currently sat on the A5 in near Stony Stratford. We've been here for about 45 minutes. There has obviously been a crash and it looks like the air ambulance is about to land. So they've just closed the other side of the A5. Ali and I are in the car. We were on our way down to meet Leonie and Alex, hoping that we make it, although we have about 40 minutes until the next train. So I hope that we are able to make it. Obviously, we're very grateful that we are not involved in that crash and we're thinking of those people that are involved in it but yeah it's not looking good if there's it an isn't looking good is it no well i mean yeah you just don't know do you no we have been turned around on the a5 and we are being escorted back the other way i've never seen this happen before so i'm guessing it must be a very 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 bad accident oh my god look it's gonna have caused absolute carnage good Morning, everyone. <laughs> Just opening up the vlog. No, I was vlogging yesterday, but not much happened, did it? Apart from me getting my hair done. We got stuck in traffic for two hours and then went home. Guess what we're doing now? We're stuck in traffic! <laughs> no, well, we're, we've just hit traffic, but hopefully we're not. It could just be congestion. 
no there is a, a crash or breakdown yeah so we've left the comforts of our home and ventured on the saturday before christmas to birmingham clever yes Yay. it's not the brightest idea we've ever had but you know you know it's all good this one is driving us because it was his idea to come i'm just tagging along i'm gonna go and do a little bit of shopping pick up some last minute christmas presents for him <laughs> are you really yeah is that why you're coming no it's not why i'm coming but it's one thing that I'm doing. I'm also shopping for myself, mind that you. That lane is going for Oh no, there's two lanes closed. So everyone's coming into this uh, lane. I should just do a naughty one and go into this lane and then it's not really a naughty one, is it? It's just playing the system. Oh dear. Oh, look, vapor. Oh, that is a, that is a cloud. Is that Ken? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a steam car. Yeah. I put waves in my hair this morning and I'm loving how it looks. Look how golden it is. Oh. Nikki is just a genius. I love it. Oh, Nikki, you're so fine. You're so fine. Oh, is she now? I've never seen Nikki yet. She's very beautiful. She's very sexy. That's what I'd say. She's very sexy. So we are heading to. I'm going to head to Selfridges and I think Reese and maybe. All Saints? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to go have a look around. <laughs> Morning, babe. <laughs> Time to get up, sleepyhead. You got stuff to do. You getting up? Yeah. Come on then. Good morning, everyone. Oh, it feels very good to be on Christmas holidays. It is the dream, the dream. We've been doing some Christmas shopping. Um, I bought some bits from. Reese yesterday. I think we got most of the stuff in a sale to be honest. Just some easy throw on things to wear from there. I've just spritzed my face with the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Water, which I've almost finished my third bottle of. Completely purchased by myself. I tried it for the first time when we were in Paris. Uh, well, I had my first one like gifted to me, but I'm on my third bottle now and I tried to pick up a fourth in Selfridges and they were sold out, but I love it as like a toner. It is so hydrating, I love it. And my skin is super dry at the moment, so I need all the hydration that it needs, that it can get or that it needs, whatever. I've been up butchering the kitchen to make some, what's it called? Some of the ginger tea, lemon ginger shot thing that my homeopath gave me the recipe for. Obviously the last batch I made, the ginger root was actually off. So this ginger root is not off and I'm making a new batch. You can have it as a tea or you can have it as a shot. So you can like add more hot water to it if you want to. But it is literally 100 grams of ginger root grated, brought to the boil and then left to stand for 45 minutes. You then sieve out the ginger root, add three lemon juice, three le lemon of juice of three lemons <laughs> to the mixture and if you want a large teaspoon of honey and that's what I'm doing basically and I'm having that in the morning because if you didn't realize guys if you didn't realize I've kicked my Red Bull habit I have not had Red Bull for two weeks what is that on my screen is that lemon is that lemon it's a little bit of lemon <laughs> yeah I've not had Red Bull for two weeks I ran out and I have a little fridge in my dressing room where I would usually keep it. So I'd walk upstairs and as I got ready, I'd have a Red Bull. I haven't had it in two weeks. So I thought I'd share that with you. I kicked my habit all on my own accord. I don't really feel any different for it. I'm not gonna lie, but I am looking for something like healthier to replace it with or just healthy to be honest. So I'm hoping to have this most mornings and it be like my like morning drink or something. I don't know. I don't know because I'm hoping that soon enough I will get back on my healthy lifestyle train hopefully maybe it's because I don't like our gym but I don't know we've got more equipment coming so that's fine and what else did I have to tell you today we are wrapping gifts for Christmas my eyes are so red sorry Ali I think needs to pop into town for something but I'm just gonna spend the time wrapping Christmas gifts and doing festive stuff I'm gonna light all my candles spending a lot of time at home today be honest probably spending a lot of time at home in general because it is so nice not having people in our house oh my goodness every day obviously we have people in our house and for the next two weeks we don't apart from on like christmas day and on new year's eve so yeah 
Fun times, fun, fun times. This is what I've been up to. It's my lemon juice, ginger. Time to put it all together, I think. What a glorious day. If only it will stay like this for Christmas Day, I will be so, so happy. Even if it doesn't snow, it's not so bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not so bad. It's not so bad. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with my face today. I don't know whether to do like a whole shebang of beauty. Sorry, I couldn't see if my um, ring light was in the way. Ah. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do a whole sh beauty shebang thing. I don't know, maybe I will, who knows? I'm gonna pop the By Terry CC serum on my face because I love it. I didn't even realize you can get it on Amazon as well. <laughs> do bloody everything on Amazon. Today, I kind of want to do some writing. You know when you feel like writing? I feel like writing on my blog today. It got a bit hectic in December, so I didn't get to do huge amounts and I've got loads of like blog posts that I'd really like to get out before Christmas at least is over. Like my dining table like basically i did my whole dining table from amazon which you'll see have seen in my dining room video and i've got this whole thing that i've had as like a brainchild in forever and i've finally just taken some pictures of the first three installments but basically i want to do a series about my foundation wardrobe i don't know whether any of you are like me but i certainly don't wear the same foundation every single day i like to mix it up Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I like to mix it up. I like to wear different products for different reasons. And, you know, if I'm going for a whole day of meetings in London and the weather is miserable, I have a certain foundation for that. If I'm having a good skin day and there's beautiful light, I have a foundation for that. So, oh my God, I've got moisturizer all over my camera. How have I done that? But yeah, so I'm using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Yeah, I want to put down my reasons behind each product that I use because I feel like it's quite relevant and um, I'd like it to be a little sort of roller decks of foundations that I use. So like the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser is like my, what would I say it is? It's my French Lace Negligee. That's what I would say this is. It's just like this tiny, almost completely invisible veil over my skin and it's just you know it's beautiful and that's why I use it when my skin is its best when I'm feeling my sexiest and it's that in my wardrobe basically and then I have other products that are like my power suit or my LBD and things like that or the like the literally naked option <laughs> So I'm gonna put this together on my blog and I'm gonna have it as like a little searchable thing so that it's easy for you guys to look up like A, my favorite bases, and B, understand why, how, where, when I use them. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna hopefully have one of those up before this video goes live. So I'll link it in the description box down below. But I am going to get myself ready for the day. Look how gorgeous this is. The mixture of by Terry CC and um, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer is like just goals. It just gives you beautiful skin, doesn't look cakey in any way, shape or form. It just looks like hydration and glow and beautiful skin. And if I have got any blemishes, like I've got a little scar here, I'll just take my NARS um, custard concealer and I'll literally do the smallest, like I'll get the smallest brush that I have. Where is it? Where is my teeny tiny brush? They're like, this is probably the smallest brush I have at the moment. This is the Sigma Angled Brow, the E75. It's a brow brush, it's not a concealer brush. But I'll take a little bit of custard and I will just conceal it like that. Any other sort of little healers that I have going on, I'll Use a little bit like this. Sometimes I get quite a lot of like redness here, so I'll just add a little bit of that there, but it's just super light. I just don't want to hide my skin. I want my skin to be on show. And that is literally it. Oh, my foundation brush is downstairs. I'm gonna go and get my foundation brush, bear with me. This is not a makeup tutorial, by the way. This is just me having verbal diarrhea. <laughs> Thank you. 
foundation brush aquí oh guys come on there we go my foundation brush is the concealer blend kabuki f79 and this is just what i use to buff everything in and make skin flawless and this just works wonders it really does for making your skin look natural literally yesterday that was all i was wearing no that's not the one that's the one i wanted my favorite color oh oh this one my favorite color in the kind of lip balms They're like it looks obviously like neon peach but because it's so sheer it gives you a peachy nudey balmy finish this is coral <laughs> and i use this over spice lip liner and it gives again a really natural finish to your lips it kind of looks like your own lips but just a little bit better no that's probably a little bit of a, an over exaggeration but it just doesn't look like you're wearing a shed ton of makeup which when you wear like matte lipsticks it can make you look like so anyway that's what i'm going to be putting on my lips with spice but i'm going to get ready now for the day ahead I have been chilling on the sofa, doing not a lot. Did you have your soup then? I did. But what are we going to have for dinner? We've got a lot of food that we need to use, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, we'll just make something out of that. Let's have a look. I've got a lot of peppers, a lot of tomatoes. Ooh, oh, there's broccoli and courgette. Oh my gosh, there's just so much. We need to do like a vegetable, roasted vegetable thing to get, yeah. I need to do some batch cooking tonight, babe. We'll do batch cook. Yeah. Let's go at least sort out presents and understand the workload that we need to get done. Okay, and then I'm gonna do some cooking. <sighs> I have been summoned by my husband to the spare bedroom. Did you, can I turn those lights off? Yeah, I just like turning them on and looking yeah, at it in there. Yeah. Right. This is what our spare bedroom look like and yet we have guests arriving in like two days this is the christmas situation actually this also has some pr stuff that has arrived so it may not be all christmas stuff but we've just kind of hid stuff in here all of the wrapping supplies are here some fortnum and mason hampers a lot a lot of stuff that we need to sort through and allocate to people so lego I we'll have a quick little teach Ali how to wrap a present tutorial. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I ended up wrapping all of last night's presents. I got pretty much everything done and then I spent the evening batch cooking because we had so much food in and with it being Christmas in a couple of days, I just, <laughs> I just decided to batch cook basically this morning i'm up and i'm heading over to derma spa i'm having like my full body mot that i think i told you about so hence why i'm a little bit fresh faced i'm going to have my nails and toes done. i have not had my toes done in months and months and months so i'm sorry in advance derma spa i've had my morning ginger and lemon shot yummy i've got water and I'm gonna go and have a pamper with my best friend. I think she's only getting her eyebrows done though. So she probably won't stay with me for the whole time. But yeah, that's the plan of action for today. I don't know what else we've got to do, but we're already late leaving, so livid. Absolutely livid. Basically, Ali went out last night and took one of the cars to like where he was going and left it and then drank. And he was like, don't worry, I'll take you in the morning. I was like, okay, but I can't be late. We have to leave at half past and the time is 9.34, so we're already four minutes late and I guarantee that will make me late to Derm Spa. <sighs> he always does this. I can never, ever count on him to get me anywhere on time because he's such a procrastinator. He was like, you were in the shower too long. We have five bathrooms, Ali. If you need the shower, use one of them. Anyway, we're going. Soggy Moo Moo. Soggy Moo Moo. Soggy Fluffy Moo Moo. Happy Christmas Eve, Eve, everyone. No, it's not Eve, Eve. Happy Christmas Eve, everyone. Oh, 
we had a killer trip to Costco yesterday to get like food and stuff in. We also bought loads of alcohol and stuff for New Year's as well. My hair is in a turban because I've got a hair mask on. So I'm washing my hair for the first time since getting it done. Just to bring you up to speed on what I've been doing since Vlogmas finished, I popped up to Birmingham to see Nikki Lazoo and I got my hair done for the second time and now we're probably leaving it for a while to let my hair repair because I've had a lot of bleach on it. I'm just doing a lot of like hair masks and things like that. And then yesterday I went for the pamper of all pampers from Dermaspa. Thankfully they invited me down to have like a load of treatments and the thing that I love about Dermaspa is that they do everything pretty much all at once. So there's no kind of waiting around and going from therapist to therapist. I literally go in, I had a collagen wave facial and I don't know whether you can notice the difference in my skin. I've got nothing on my face right now. I have some red marks. These went really red yesterday and they're now like healing and they fa faded loads. But on the whole, my skin looks so like even, but I had the collagen wave what else did I have? I had loads of different sort of treatments at once. Oh, then I had the one where they like, it fires a solution into your skin and then it sucks it out. Oh, that was my fave. Apparently I have really clean skin. It didn't come out milky at all. It was like super clean. Then I had the, what is it? derma rolling so with the little needles and then a cream kind of applied on top i also had blue and red light therapy as well i also had oxygen blasted into my skin i had my brows done so they're probably looking a lot lighter we tried it for a second time it honestly it's so funny this brow lamination just doesn't work on my brows but you have to bear in mind that my brows are like a man's beard like they're just so wiry and they go really nice and soft just afterwards and I'm like oh it feels weird to have soft like fluffy brows give them an hour and they are back to wiry and I can't do anything with them so my brows unfortunately are not a candidate for brow lamination which is sad but I had them shaped and plucked and tidied up ready for Christmas day so today I am I need to wrap Ali's presents so what have I got Ali for Christmas I have got him, first of all I bought him a multi like gym but it's a cable machine but I don't know when it's delivered, not sure when it's delivered, I need to double check that because the one that we ordered is out of stock and he wants a different one instead which is just the same so I've got to finalise when that's going to be delivered. I've also got him a huge tub of Le Mer, which he loves. I've got him a voucher for Dermaspa. I bought him a 200 pound voucher for Dermaspa. Cause you know what guys are like, they just don't take care of themselves. Like Ali needs a good pedicure. He needs a good manicure. He could even have a facial. Like just have some like treatments to look after yourself. So I got him that so that he can go there and like book in and have some things done. Even if he just wants to keep getting his nails like tidied up. My dad always has his na nails tidied up. So I'm no stranger to like that. I also got him a voucher for reflexology because he really, really wants that. So he can start that in the new year. And what else? I think, oh, oh, I got him a new toothbrush as well. New toothbrush that I need to wrap. So all of this stuff I need to wrap now so i'm going to leave my hair mask on for that then i'm going to shower we're finalizing everything for christmas day today with ali's dad and his stepmom. um so that is the plan of action i think this evening we're going out for a few drinks where we used to live with ali's friends just to basically see in the new year oh i also got my toes done yesterday so I, honestly when i was at derma spa i was having my facial whilst having my nails done so i got new christmas nails you can see those you see those yeah, I got new Christmas nails, Christmas festive nudie nudes. I got it on my toes as well, but I'm not going to sh show you like an up close of my toes. Shall I? Okay, let's do it. Little Christmas bauble toes, just there. And then once my facial was finished, they did my brows. So it was really good. It was really good. To just like have everything done at once. I loved it. But anyway, yes, yeah, so we're going for drinks later. We're not having a late one. Ali's driving and then we're coming back. And then it's Christmas day and I honestly have no idea. Ali is so good at keeping secrets, it's ridiculous. I have no idea what he's got me for Christmas. Well, I, I, I've guessed, I think I've guessed one because I said something to him and his reaction kind of gave it away. So yeah, there's that. But I've had my ginger and lemon tea this morning. Still no Red Bull, which I'm loving. Kicked my habit, well done me. And um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do for the day. Nice Christmas Eve and Christmas Day together tomorrow. Looking forward to it. 
The guest bedroom is almost set. We just gotta get rid of these last Christmas presents. I need to wrap Ali's, so that's what I'm gonna do in here now, and then I'm gonna put my nephew's presents away, and I'm finally gonna get myself washed because I need to crack on with Christmas Eve. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what happened. My camera turned off. Oh, it looks like we've got no battery. Oh my God. Oh no. Ah! Okay, maybe I've got enough time to tell you that I finished wrapping the Okay, new battery in. Ali's presents are wrapped from Lumi and I. The big present is just from me because Lumi can't afford it, unfortunately. Times are tough. I'm gonna pop these under the tree with all of the other presents. Oh. Look at all the gifts. Oh, that one's definitely got my name on it. Ooh, these are my ones. Look at Ali's crappy bows. Oh wow, I've got loads. <gasps> Exciting. Popped his there. There we go. We've got Frank Sinatra playing in the house, but I've had to turn it off in the dining room because obviously YouTube copyright claim, but I can't believe we get to use this room tomorrow. I am so excited for it to get its first use. Honestly, I can't wait and I'm just ooh, so excited. So I'm gonna get myself ready and then I'm gonna spend the afternoon getting the house ready for our first batch of guests to arrive this evening. And then when we go out and then tomorrow, Ali's parents, well, dad and stepmom come over for Christmas day. <gasps> Happy Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. Ali has brought the crusty bread. Lovely. Bread. Yeah, crusty bread. You've had a go at me for saying that before. Crusty loaf is is the, the name. This is called a giraffe bloomer. A giraffe bloomer. Yes. Oh, technical. And also something I wasn't expecting to arrive is two new office chairs for the team. These are from Dwell and they're like a cream color and then they also have black bases so i'm going to be probably selling my other two but i didn't expect them to arrive on christmas eve i was not expecting a furniture delivery that is for sure but ali is getting away well he's putting away all of his loot and i am going to go and get ready because your girl is clean and i actually can't believe how good my skin looks after those facials yesterday it looks like just new skin i love it oh i'm so booking in for that what new skin doesn't it look like new skin no but I'm not that new skin. <laughs> it is Christmas Eve, but I have to go down into the office just to finish off tonight's video. Ahead of the last day of Vlogmas. I love that the team left it so nice and tidy for me as well. So thoughtful. Lully. That took me a lot longer than expected, but whilst I was doing it, my husband sorted out my new chairs from Dwell. They fit the color scheme a lot better. I need to have a little bit of a zhuzh in here. It always gets so cluttered though, but I love them. They've got the gorgeous black, matte black base, and then the white, I think it's faux leather. It might be real leather, I'm not sure. I'll let you know in the description box. Then I just need to get that reupholstered, but I'm really looking for a good reupholster Reupholsterer, is that the word? Anyway, because at the moment I still have not, have not got my stools for my dressing room, so yeah, just someone that's gonna be really quick because I need my chair obviously to work, but yeah. Anyway, new stuff here. This is the bits that I got from Oka as well. Just more of this faux bone inlay detailing. I've got the bin as well because the bin in here is so ugly and these tones just really match well. Ali is pumping some iron in the gym. There you go. <laughs> and I am heading upstairs to make us some dinner. We're just having some soup. Soup that I made the other day because we're just gonna have a quick one. And I did some batch cooking and these are the next things that we need to eat. He's actually gonna have the one that Carrie made. I'm gonna have the one that I made because I didn't taste my batch cooking and um, I need to get better at that. <laughs> so pop these in the microwave because that is the joy of batch cooking. Also, something new that I learned, I did not realize. But this doubles as a second oven. <laughs> so I've actually got two ovens. Amazing.
I made in a row of chuffed with myself. Hmm. We had our soup and oh my gosh, I can't believe that I made a soup that delicious. I'm so proud of myself. I think it was a, um, what's it called? A Thermomix recipe and I loved it. But I am ready to go out now for some Christmas Eve drinks. We don't usually do this. Usually we spend it with family, but this year we thought we'd go and have some drinks with friends and nothing major. Ali's drinking because we don't like being hungover on Christmas day because Christmas day is for drinking. So yeah, this is my outfit. I've got the Jambati Stivali and H&M skirt, Intimissimi roll neck, Calcedonia tights, Chloe boots and Bulgari bag and makeup I've gone super simple. Literally just sorted it out from today. Brows are looking quite thick. Mm -hmm. I also just brushed my waves through and I feel like this is, looks better and I don't know why I haven't done this with my hair usually. Oh, I think that's the sound of the, oh, Ali's just started the car. I'm like, how, wh how did he get out there? <laughs> right, um, I'm gonna put a coat on and head to see our friends. Good morning, everyone. I'm not quite sure where we got to in this vlog, to be perfectly honest. I think it was about Christmas Eve and we were getting the house ready for everything Christmas related because as I mentioned only a few hundred times, we were hosting Christmas that year. And it was really, really exciting and I just loved every moment of it. We had the most wonderful day. If I have any clips from like my stories, I'll insert them here and you can kind of get the general gist of what happened. But I didn't really do much stories, I don't think. We just thoroughly enjoyed it and we spent the day lying around the house, watching films and eating so much food. And I ate so much food that the amount of alcohol that I drank was like outweighed, it was great. So I, I just drank champagne from the early morning. As soon as we got up, we pour ourselves a glass of champagne and we set about enjoying Christmas. And that was what we did. We drank all day, right up until the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special was finished. Even though I don't really watch Gavin and Stacey, but that was the first episode I'd ever watched. And I actually didn't really watch much of it. I think I kind of dozed off. But then we went to bed and I had the weirdest, it must've been all of the cheese because we had a proper cheese fest. We ate so much that we didn't even have enough room for dessert. And we ate so much cheese. And I think there was this like rare bit cheese that I had. And all of us, all of us woke up the next day and we were like, I had the weirdest dreams. I actually can't remember them now, but we had really, really weird dreams. So obviously um, you are now watching this from the new year and my house is not full of decorations. They're all gone basically. And there's still a few, few Christmas presents around here because I need to go and see my niece and nephew, nephews and my brother and my sister-in-law. So that's why they're still there. But as you are watching this, there will be no decorations left in my house. However, I did obviously take some amazing time off over new year and I will kind of bring you up to speed in all of the changes and resolutions and all of the things that I'm hoping to achieve and do and just kind of work on and be better at in the new year. So that is coming in my next video. So stay tuned. Sorry that you're getting festive set up, but I wanted to do a what I got for Christmas video and I am filming it whilst we still have our decorations up. So Anyway, but yeah, I've taken some much needed time off and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I've not actually picked up my camera as, thought, as much as I thought I would, but um, it's lovely to have taken that time off and just been able to pick it up as and when I fancy it. So with a few days left of my Christmas holly bobs, I thought I'd sit down and go through everything that I got for Christmas this year from family and friends. And I think there's like, I think there's one brand that sent me something for Christmas and um, it was pretty special. So I had to, I had to kind of feature it in this, this video. <laughs> Without further ado, I guess let's get into it. So my first Christmas present actually arrived from my grandma. And last year, my grandma got me a subscription to Country Life magazine. And that comes every week. And I really enjoyed working my way through the magazines and just reading a little bit more. It was quite nice to just sit on the sofa and read a magazine whilst I have like my morning tea or whatever. Um, it does come every week though, and that's quite a lot. And I don't usually have that much time. So this year, 
she got me two new subscriptions so she's cancelled the country life one and she's got me the english home which i actually really really like and i know i'm going to enjoy reading this a lot and also the english garden so i've got two subscriptions this year and i love these i actually really think this is such a great gift because it's kind of the gift that keeps on giving i don't often buy magazines for myself it's kind of like an as and when i'm like oh yeah okay i'll get myself this or that or the other and this has given me a lot more sort of insight into interiors it helps me find brands it's so hard to like find good brands for like lighting and we're doing like our bathroom so it's good to find brands for that as well yeah so i've been flicking through my first edition of this one but i'm pretty sure it's monthly so this will be a bit more like easy to work my way through over the month and then hopefully i would have done both by the end and then i get new ones so i really really love that she also got me a picture frame so I'm gonna use that to probably put a picture of links in because I think that's what she intended it for. Where should we go next? Oh, so let's talk about other things that maybe you can't see. So Carrie got me a wine tasting course. So we're gonna be going on that in February and I think we're gonna try and combine it with going to Tom Kerridge's restaurant at uh, the Corinthia. We ate there when we stayed there with Claire Poe, and it was, amazing i loved it and i really want to take ali so i think we're going to take we're going to like make a, a a day of it and we're going to go to ronnie scott's and then we're going to go to carriages and we're also going to do the wine tasting with both our partners so we thought that would be good fun um and so i bought it for ali for christmas as well so that's really good really happy about that and um i just wanted to get to know like wine a little bit more and i i, I only really drink kind of gin or wine so that was a good one and then Ali's mum obviously got us the vouchers for Tom Kerridge's flagship restaurant where we went for our anniversary so it's really funny it kind of Ali had booked to take me there for our anniversary and I think he must have like maybe mentioned it to his brother and then his brother must have mentioned it to his mum and his mum had already got us vouchers for Christmas for the restaurant and so when she came here, she, she was like insisting that we open our Christmas present before Christmas. And I think that that was because she knew that we were going and it meant that it would go to our like anniversary trip, basically. And it's perfect. Such a great gift for us. And we do love like the gift of experiences because often we get quite busy and we don't um, like take time out. So it was actually funny. We had vouchers for um, the, the Ivy as well. Like you could go to any of the Ivies. And because we were in Marlow at the Hand and Flower, we thought we were going to stay over. So we thought the next day we can go to the Ivy and we can use our vouchers for our birthdays. And so we had the dinner at the Hand and Flower. It was amazing. We loved it. And then the next day we went down there. And honestly, I was really, really disappointed with the Ivy because his mum had spent so much money on these vouchers and she'd really like just given us so much money to be able to spend at the ivy we went to pay for the the meal and the the meal actually came to 75 pounds and we had vouchers for more than that and they said basically if you use your vouchers you have to use like we'd have to pay essentially say that say the the value of the um vouchers was like 500 pounds it wasn't but just say it was and our meal was only 75 we would lose all of the rest of our voucher just to pay the 75 pounds i've never heard of that in my life and i was actually we were both so disappointed we obviously paid and didn't use the vouchers because we're not going to waste the money that ali's mum has like put towards that so yeah, we were really disappointed with that, but hopefully what we'll try and do is kind of take them out for a meal there or something so we can use the whole voucher and spend a little bit more on top. I think that's what we're gonna try and do. But other than that, yeah, I thought that that was quite bad. Um, and then Ali's dad and stepmom got us um, meal vouchers to go to Le Manoir in Oxford. They went there recently. They've actually gone twice recently and they just, loved it so they got us vouchers to go as well and i'm actually super excited i can't remember where we decided when we decided that we we're going to go babe when are we going to le manoir oh yeah so we're going to go for valentine's day like around that time i think um so that'll be good really excited about that one so um those were all like experiences that i was gifted um then to see some of the things that ali got me i'll show you those um i had to get one of them out of the freezer and one out of the cupboard because it has all been put away now you might see something sparkling on my hand. I have 
another ring from Ali, which um, it was one of the rings that I was looking at from Masika. And if you know that I worked with Masika before Christmas as well. So it was so funny. And I think I kind of like guessed because I told him that I was working with Masika and Ali is such a bad liar. Like I can instantly tell when he's either trying to hide something or when he's lying. And his response, he was like, oh, Masika, like kind of like that. I was like, you don't know who Masika are. And then I thought to myself, he's definitely got me something for Christmas. I didn't know what it was though. And it was such a lovely surprise and, and it matches and goes really well with my ring. Apparently this is from the Gigi Hadid collaboration with Masika and it's now discontinued. So you can't really get these anymore. Apparently this was like the last one, but I love my sparkly rings and um, it was just absolutely perfect. And so much more than I expected for Christmas because we've obviously spent a lot on the house and I didn't expect him to get me anything. So that was very nice for him. Got me some Italian nougat the almond and hazel one, ha hazelnut one from Waitrose. Um, this is just the little box here from Masika. Oh my God, I think I showed you this with my other one. Um, but look, it's got a light in it. How cool is that? And he also got me a bottle of my favorite gin, which has been in the freezer. This is uh, Monkey 47. This is like my favorite easily accessible gin. I, ba I think you, you kind of get this in more uh, restaurants um and bars and you can get it in waitrose and m&s i think no m&s but i do prefer like a lot more niche gins but this one is like the one that i always always go to but if i've got like a, a gin menu i'll always sample something super niche but this is like my just favorite like easily accessible gin that i'll always go to fail safe i love it and um yeah so I love this one, so I was very happy to get a bottle of this. He also always gets me some cashmere socks from the White Company because I love them and they're cozy and I go through them so much. Those are always welcomed as well. Um, the gifts from Ali's brother and uh, girlfriend, they got me this and this is probably my most used Christmas present so far. This is, it's a candle brand called like Citra something or other. Um, I'm, I'm not really, I don't really know their candles, but this is genius. So this is a candle putter outer, basically. It, rather than snuffing a candle or like putting the lid on so that all of the glass goes black or even if you don't, it's not like in a container, can't really put it out without blowing it out. And I've always thought that's so weird because surely when you're burning, a, especially a scented candle, you want the smell to fill the room, but then when you blow it out, it makes it fill with smoke. The only way to put out a candle without making smoke is to dip the wick that is a light into the wax that's melted and then pull it out and there needed to be like something that was designed for that and this I, I don't even know if it was designed for that but this is how I've been using it so I plop the wick into the wax pull it back out with the hook and stand it upright in its proper position so that it doesn't spread out and um yeah I've used this so much I always have it handy to put my candles out and it means that my house doesn't fill with the smell of smoke I like the smell of smoke from my cat my my log burner but not from candles weird I know but so handy and I've used that so much this is the fever tree art of mixing simple long drinks and cocktails from the world's leading bars definitely think that I should expand my taste with my gins and experiment a little bit more seeing as I enjoy it so much and evidently from everything I got people understand that I enjoy it so much um so that book is currently on the shelf in my kitchen Oscar carries cat because he always gets me a Christmas present um because I'm his favorite auntie uh this was a little plate that Carrie was like I know it's not your aesthetic I could not not get you this so this is um the cheese sloth and yeah it's basically a portrait of me isn't it <laughs> it does make me laugh and Ali's stepmom was like I was actually gonna get you that how funny then Ali's nan and gramps got me two bottles of gin one is well this is mermaid gin which I'd never heard of apparently this is small batch no this is small batch the pink gin so this one the pink one is infusing their signature gin with island strawberries they've crafted vibrant mermaid pink gin for a refreshing and aromatic serve and then this one which is the one that i will obviously go through it is using the hearts and a column still they're able to create the remarkably smooth and complex 
yet complex gin that is mermaid. Lots of gin there as well from Ali's Nan and Gramps, which obviously all of these people I have said thank you to. Then my friend Alex and her husband Sam got me this. They said that apparently this is amazing. This is the Alessi cheese grater and yeah, I mean, I can't wait to use it, but I'm also, I'm, I'm like, it's a bit of, it's like a work of art. I don't even know if I want to use it because it's so amazing but I love cheese, so this was very, very welcome there from my lovely friend. From Dior, I was sent a bag and I left it unopened. I don't know why I did that, I didn't know it was a Christmas present, so I left it unopened. I just happened to be rummaging through it on Christmas day and I realized that it was a lovely gift that came in this gorgeous box. I feel like this is just a work of art in itself. I'm never ever throwing this away, it's so beautiful. Um, but I've been wearing it ever since it arrived. So they sent me a bracelet, which I thoroughly enjoyed because I've obviously already got my uh, Dior fine jewelry bracelet, but it was just so me. It's this kind of diamante Christian Dior bracelet just there that you can see. And it goes in my stack really nicely, really nicely. And it's got like pearls and little crystals and a little dangly Christian Dior. It's got like matching necklaces and everything so I can get more, but I don't think this is like a solid gold one, so I should be a bit more careful with it. But I do tend to wear my jewellery all the time. Very, very beautiful. So thank you so much to Dior for that. And I did text them straight away to say thank you. We also got some champagne, some pink champagne. And I got some little bottles of gin, which are like tree decorations from Cal. And he also got me this book, which I'll grab now. Oh. Yeah, so Cal got me and Ali, so this is for both of us. Um, this is like a Sipsmith gin cocktail book as well, so another like kind of cocktail ideas, which I'm really, really looking forward to, really looking forward to, but this one was personalized. I couldn't believe it. It says, sip with the MGs, 100 gin cocktails with only three ingredients, which is definitely manageable for me, because I don't usually like using lots of ingredients and things, because it confuses me. And that's also living on like my cookery book and like that shelf in my kitchen, so. It's very, very lovely. Oh, oh my gosh, my big candle. As you know, <laughs> I love winter time and I love Christmas time and I always burn all of the sort of um, festive fragrances in my house. I have no idea where they got this from. And really, I should save this for next year, but it's still winter and I still love this fragrance. So I think I might burn it this year. I don't know, but Ali's dad and stepmom also Oh, got me this huge white company Christmas candle. This is the winter fragrance, but I didn't even realize it came in this size because I've got this one, which is the big one that Ali picked up for me. And I thought this was the biggest. I thought this one, this is a three wick one, but I think this is like a five. How many wicks? I can't see. One, two, three, four, but I think it's a five wick candle. Oh, but I can smell it and it smells amazing. And so that was also from Ali's dad and stepmom. Oh, my mum also got me some um, like sparkling, sparkling wine and some chocolates and some lip balms as well. But I've already devoured the chocolates and the sparkling wine is in the wine cooler and the lip balms I've got in my coat pockets because my lips have been really dry recently. And then I've still got to go see my brothers and people like that, my brothers? I've still got to go see my brother and my nephews. So I'm hoping that they're the people that have got me the pony this year because fingers crossed, I'm still asking for it. <laughs> um, but I will see you in my next video, which is all about the changes that I'm going to be making in uh, the new year. It should be a real sort of positive and fun also gives you a little bit of a peek at the New Year's Eve that we had as well, which was just lovely. I loved it. It was so much fun. And I will see you in my next video. We'll be all caught up over the next one and uh, well into content of 2020. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me on this little festive throwback. And I will see you hopefully in my next video. Bye.